What you do on your phone? It's going now. You're live again. So do I need to start over? I would. For the third time. <laughs> I'm Stacy. I'm here to show you me doing Opa shampoo on my Afghan hound in a recirculator and how it works. She's already half bathed now. <laughs> but I'm going to say it one more time. So what I do is, this is about a $15 bottle approximately. I use about a third of it. I put a big glop of it, about a third of it, into the tub. And I recirculate it all. I use my recirculator system, and I use it all over Aurora, which is what I'm doing right now. I don't know. We had some technical difficulties. So, all right, here goes the recirculator. So see how I mix it up. I got it. I got it. You see how easy this is? All I'm doing is washing my dog, basically, with the recirculator. I'm washing her with the pink shampoo. And it's just like a color overtone. It just goes right over her. But she's also getting bathed at the same time. Because it's a really good shampoo. And then I'm going to cover up her face. But it's fine. Because I've done this so many times and nothing bothers her. And I get her ears, and I get her head, and I get all up under here, and then I just turn them around, same thing on this side. Okay, can you wash that off my glasses? It's basically just that simple. Now, some people want to take some of their Opa's shampoos and add it extra onto the head while they're washing the body. You can do this before, during, after, however dark you want it. And you can add this to the ears. She has red hair on the undercoat, so it doesn't really take the dye too well. And generally, because the recirculator works so good, she's basically washed already. Um, my recommendation is to leave this color on probably 15 minutes, or she actually likes to be bathed. So I can just continue to recirculate her. Make sure I get like her feet. Because I've already washed her a couple weeks ago with this shampoo, it left a really pink color on her, but it was starting to fade. This time she's going to have a little bit of a darker tint to her when I dry her because it's the second time I've washed her in about a week. If you want another darker tint, you can keep going darker and darker. Every time you wash them, if you do it within a week, they will get darker and darker. I prefer the pastel look myself. But some people like a darker pink. I also like the plain pink from the funky color. There's a vivid pink. I just don't, this just happens to be the one that works the best for Aurora. I don't have a poodle. I have an Afghan hound. So because I have a drop coat dog, I have a lot more issues. It's a lot harder if you have a drop foot dog. There's the color one. Alright, so I'm going to let that sit. I found out probably last year or whenever they came up with the Opaz 
a lot of people with poodles, they just wash their dog and they hand do it all over the dog, rub it in. Well, I happened to have a recirculator. So I was all excited because I thought I invented a new way to use this shampoo because I didn't know anybody else did it. I called up Dawn Envoy for some, I had some questions. And when I called her, I was excited and I told her, I invented this where you could use the recirculator. And Dawn apparently had been doing it on Brooke all along. So Dawn actually probably invented this, not me. <laughs> anyway, it works a lot better because she's such a big dog. I can't sit here with shampoo and scrub, her, scrub it in. It's just going to take forever to do that. So it's much easier with a recirculator. Opaw sells a recirculator. Opaw sells many different colors. Like I said, I like the plain pink. There's other pinks. It comes in smaller bottles. You can buy the tiny little bottles like this. So if you have a little dog, I think probably this much is good enough for one whole little dog for one whole bath. I don't know what it costs, but contact Opaws. And today, if you contact Opaws and give them my dog's name, Aurora, you'll get a 5% discount on any of their products. You just have to put in the code Aurora. A-U-R. How do you spell my dog's name? Oh. <laughs> All right. Aurora. So you can get this, you can get a recirculator, you can get anything you want. 5% off today using the code. Meanwhile, I think we're probably going to have to go off air because she's going to sit here for a minute and then I'm going to rinse. Um, or I could probably rinse now, but we could probably just turn it off. Um, if anybody has any questions, though, they can ask. You want to just leave it running while I'm rinsing her? You can. Well, well. You know, you look sad, Aurora. <laughs> um, Sherry Lynn said, how, Shania Lynn said, how long does she sit? Okay, so maybe, maybe 10 minutes or five minutes after I put the shampoo on her. So you can either let her sit in it. Or you can go back and just keep recirculating. I really love the recirculator. If you don't have a recirculator, you don't have to use a recirculator. Um, I would just sit there and keep scrubbing it in just to make sure you get a uniform where it's all the same everywhere on the body. She's probably done now. She's probably finished. I'm probably going to just cut it off and rinse her. But her pink is there. I can see it. It's going to come out very beautifully pastel. Andrea, she used probably a third of the large bottle. Yeah, I would say I've used a third of the large bottle. So, if this bottle is around $15, it's $5 to dye your entire dog. My, um, what's really nice is if I have a pink dog running around in my shop, everybody that comes here sees my pink dog. Everybody wants their dog pink. It's probably just basically giving the dog a bath and adding $5 worth of shampoo. And I can charge $100 to have a pink standard poodle on top of the regular bath price. So, $150. Something like that for a standard poodle to be pink, blue, green, whatever. Um, if you want to not use the recirculator because you want multiple colors, you can put blue on the legs and leave it there. Then you can put the pink on the body and leave it there. And then you'll have a pink and a blue dog. Then you wouldn't want to use your recirculator because you don't want it all to mix. But I like one color dog, so that's just me. Or if you just wanted to dye ears... You could put it on the ears and the tail, and then rinse it off after about 20 minutes, or put the regular shampoo on the other part of the body and rinse it off. And it's going to look like, sorry, when it's all done, it's going to look like kind of a pastel color. And when we blow her dry, it's going to look even lighter. But it really is a really pretty color. Looks like a little Easter egg or cotton candy. Very noticeable. 
Anybody else have any questions or should we just cut it off while I'm doing this? Because it'll take me 10 minutes to answer. How long does it last? How long does it last? Uh, it's different on every dog. I would say that it probably lasts on my dog two months. Maybe six weeks, eight weeks. But I usually do at least two shampoos. If you do one shampoo, it starts to fade maybe after about a month. Um, and it just gets lighter and lighter every time you wash your dog. But if you wash your dog in the Opa shampoo, it gets darker and darker. So if you don't wash it, if you just do a one-time application, I'd say by the time the dog comes in for a grooming next time, they'll be ready for it again. So Someone said, does this work only on white dogs? No. It works really good. I mean, like a Yorkie, a white-colored Yorkie, any kind of a gray dog. Schnauzers um, works. Pink works very good on Schnauzers. So does the purple. I haven't tried the green, but I'm sure that those colors will work just fine on them. And you can't tell on Aurora, but she's actually more of a red cream color. She's not yes. white, right. and the pink shows up very, very well on her. And it does when she's dry. And I'll post pictures of her. It takes an hour to dry this dog, just like a standard poodle, because she's got such a coat. I'll post pictures of her. Probably what about in an hour or less of her being completely dry, and I've got older pictures of her. And you're really going to be you think it's the most beautiful thing because she looks like a big ball of cotton candy fluff. And it, I haven't recommendation is not to get it anywhere near the eyes, but sometimes you just can't help it because, you, especially on her, she's got a really small skull. It, I've never had a problem with it anywhere near her face or her. It's not like I leave it in her eyeballs, but I'm just saying, never had a problem. I rinse it out really quickly. I've done this probably 10 times with her. Never had an issue. I'm going to turn her around. And I usually do. A really heavy conditioner afterwards you don't want that's the other thing you do not want to just like with the regular colors you do not want to do this with a dog that's been heavily conditioned unless you rinse the dog off first because it it won't stick it won't absorb into the haircut just like the regular opop will not absorb um did i did i tell everybody they can go to the opal side already i did that didn't i Corey said, is it drying? Do you need to do any other shampoo with it? Moisturizer Hi, other than coat spray? Um, no, but if you have a really dirty dog, you can do a shampoo first. Opa actually has a shampoo um, that will clean off the conditioner. It thinks they're real. I don't even know what it is. I think I have it in there. Will you look at that little bottle of Opa shampoo? It's like a not really a stripping shampoo, but it's a really good cleaning shampoo. No, it would be little, like a little bottle, like one of these. Yeah, it's probably in the next one. Um, they have that, and I, my recommendation is to use that first. Just like a quickie bath, and then the Opaws. Yeah, perfect. Ta-da! Okay, it's deep cleanse shampoo. You can use this real quick. Right before you do your, your color shampoo. But honestly, this is a great shampoo, too. So, I'm just saying if your dog's super greasy or has a lot of conditioner left on or product, I would use this first. What's up, Corey? Can you do this in the Hydra bath and will it leave any residue for the next dog? I'm doing it in the hydro bath, and no. Um, and if you're, no, no, because I call her all the time. It does leave a little residue on my wall. <laughs> However, after about two or three times, and also, if my hands aren't pink. It doesn't dye my hands. Um, it leaves a little residue on the wall, but it's non-transferable. So, I would say the answer is no if you have the recirculator. When you're rinsing the dog, use your recirculator. Your recirculator's clean. I've never had that problem. Never. I think 
if somebody could give me the um, Chris Christensen protein conditioner. Because I just like to use a really good heavy conditioner after. It would be in one of... That's just me. No, it's in a white bottle. It should be, like, right here. Is it the protein? Yeah. I'll give you a bit. Never mind, you're All right. You can use anything, and Opaz probably has a really good conditioner, too. It's just that, because she's an Afghan hound, and I don't like hair breakage, I always, no matter what shampoos, no matter what I do, I always, always, always give her a good protein conditioner, and then I let her sit. He likes the massage anyway. It's a little bit different with a drop coat dog. Most of these people that are coloring have poodles. I just had to be different. It's a challenge and I like it. Let's go right where her hair starts. My girls wash my dogs too sometimes so they can take pointers from me. Here's a pointer. Here's a pointer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they hate me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put my conditioner actually in the recirculator. Because I like to take shortcuts. You can see how pink she is. What's really cool is later. Whenever she's dry, she's so fluffy and looks like cotton candy. Right now, not so much. Amber, can you use the um, conditioner, the one that says like highlight on it, so I can put it in the recipe? I think it's over here. Yeah, this one's open. There's like this kind of conditioner as well, and, but you can use whatever. <laughs> and I don't know if the conditioner helps hold the color in or not. I have to use conditioner because I have to, she's just got that kind of coat and I'm always trying to make her coat beautiful, so she always has to have conditioner. still pink. So it also helps. Then I'm rinsing her again with a conditioner and a circulator. The other thing is it does not color transfer. She goes outside, she gets in a pool, she gets wet. My couch is white and leather. It never transfers. So that's nice. My customers used to be very worried about transfer. They would always say, what if the dog gets wet? That's the good thing about Opaws. It does not transfer. You can put blue over here, pink over here, green over here with the regular colors. It does not bleed into each other. Holly said, is the color more vibrant if applied directly rather than through the system? Uh, I don't find that to be the case. The only reason I do it this way is because I have, like Don Umbley and I both have very, very, very long, thick colored dogs. So, I mean thick haired dogs. So it's really hard for me to apply it directly because it would take me all day and too much product. Um, maybe on a little dog, that's a good idea if you want more vibrant. But the way I do more vibrant is I just give her another bath. In a week or two, 
and it darkens up. Now, if I don't want her to be darker, then I'll give her a regular bath shampoo. And if you don't color her anymore, then eventually it will fade. A couple months. Four or five washes. And if you really want it to fade fast, where's their cleansing shampoo? That deep clean shampoo works really good for it to come off a little faster. And Aurora would be more vibrant, but this is a pastel color. Exactly. So it's not going to be as vibrant if you were you to know, go. I don't like vibrant on her. Um, you know, other thing is if you want, if you want vibrant, my suggestion is to use the actual colors instead of um, the shampoo. But they have other color shampoos, like they have a vivid pink that is more vibrant. I just happen to choose the regular pink. I don't like vibrant. I prefer pastel on her. She looks like a Easter egg or cotton candy. Now I have to get all the conditioner out of her. And I usually leave the conditioner on a lot more. I'm sorry, Lord. A lot longer. But because we're wide, I'm just kind of going fast. And I usually do a third recirculate with my dog to make sure all the conditioner is out. Which her hair is extremely thick. That's the other thing though, if I were to apply it directly like some people do, problem with applying it directly is that it, I use more product. That's why I recommend the Opaz Recirculator because it definitely saves water, saves time, and it saves the product. Watch you one more time. Can everybody hear me talking? Yes. Okay. You look so beautiful. Andrea said the fuchsia coral red shampoo is also more vibrant. It depends on what you want. I may need to try that for Pixie. Yeah, yeah. Like like I said, it, it's there's several that are more vibrant. I just happen to use the pink because I just happen to like the cotton candy color. Do I have makeup all over my face? No, you're good. <laughs> okay. She shook. The colors not picking up is great on line, but she is actually very, very pink looking. More yeah. so than what, what y'all were seeing. And it also looks different when she's wet. When she's dry, I mean, if y'all are friends with me on my Facebook page or, or go to the parking lot, I always post her. She is, looks like a cotton candy thing. She, she's that, and I will, I got, like I said, it's going to take us 30 minutes to dry her. I'll come back in 30 minutes and go on Opaz and post the finished pictures. So stay tuned. Um, will you turn the recirculator on? It fell on the floor. So I'm just going to rinse her one more time. Okay. Yeah, just kind of
And I love the recirculator because it saves me a lot of time. It saves my back. Sorry if I'm getting wet. Basically, that's it. I think that Opaz comes in blue, vibrant blue, red, green. Um, I think I've tried every one but green and not the, I haven't tried the red, but Kristen's dog is next. <laughs> we tried the red on my Chinese Crested and it lasted for about a year and a half. It would not fade. But that wasn't the shampoo. That was yeah, the... that was the actual color. <laughs> Yeah. We did her as a bomb pop for 4th of July one year. Yeah, well, that was... Well, I think it kind of turned into a pinkish. Yeah, it faded to a coral. Yeah. It eventually. Looks, looks but for those of you that love red, that's an amazing red. Good girl. The purple was always amazing on my Yorkie. It lasted the longest on her. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go dry her. And um, if anybody has any questions, just ask. And when I come back again, I'll come back. Um, I don't know if I come back live or not. Um, but if I do or not, you can ask questions. And I'll show you what the finished product looks like when she's dry. It'll be a lot different. and You'll be amazed. Thanks, guys.